Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 388. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, this week's got news and I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised, as you are too. Uh, there's a few news here and there, but for us, I got three for you this week. So let's, right, let's hop right into it. So first news is the last problem, but the main six don't have bags under their eyes. Yes, if you've seen the season finale, the epilogue, uh, you notice that the main six had bags under their eyes, which kind of significates, um, signifies that they're older. But it honestly, it looks really weird. Because, well, it do, yeah, it kind of does. So it seems that uh, I see Edit has gone through the season finale and edited the main six with no bags under their eyes. Yes, uh, you can check it out in the show notes in the links to the, well, links. Um, the video is out on Daily Motion and you can go check it out. And yeah, um, as you can see here, with this short image here, you can see Rainbow Dash doesn't have bags on their eyes, Rarity and Fluttershy, and they look better. I'm still questioning why did they do that in the first place. I'm sure Big Jim answered that in one of his Q&As, but I haven't spotted it out yet. So, um, it's a very interesting point, and yeah, if you guys want to go check it out it's in the link below yes so let's move on to the next one and the next one is um the my little pony magic the gathering card game and playmats are out now except for the playmats they're sold out so anywho um like you like you guys uh, remember a while back i mentioned that hey uh magic the gathering or wizard of the coast in collaboration with uh, Magic the Ga sorry, um, with My Little Pony, has made exclusive cards that are well for charity. Uh, there are what you call this. I, I think it's something like this. With every purchase, twenty dollars of the was it thirty? I think it was thirty. Yes, thirty dollars of the proceeds go to Extra Life, funding the Seattle Children's Hospital. And it seems that I, I got no idea. I've seen a lot of Magic the Gathering, uh, what you would call this, YouTubers or places or sites, mostly YouTubes, are talking a lot about this. And they're reviewing it or thinking about how to make um, a good deck about this. And in all honesty, I've thrown my hat into the game, and yeah, it seems I got two of them, one for me and one for a friend. And like I mentioned before, the proceed goes to the Seattle Children's Hospital. Uh, unfortunately, for the playmats themselves, they are sold out. Uh, it says here that the cards themselves are limited to four per customers with a $50 retail price and if you click on the link below here and go check out the website they are still available and it seems these are print on demand or something like that and these are available till November 5th uh, when this episode comes out it will be on October 29 or 28 depending on how I post this so you still have a chance to go get them if yeah you still have a chance to go get them uh, they only ship to the United States and Canada but I'm sure if you know someone who lives in the United States or Canada or use one of those shipping websites you, you know one of those third party place where you ship to that place and they ship it to you kind of deal I, I think um that's possible too, but I'm not 100% sure how much the price is going to be for shipping at that point. Uh, for me, I asked a very nice hippogriff to help me with the shipping. 
So yeah, I mean I, I know someone. So yeah. Um, but other than that, this is just awesome. Um, I I can't, I can't really um, express how excited I am about this, and I can't really wait to get them and try them out. Um, big shout out to the Jumbo Commander for quote unquote building a deck out of this. Um, he kind of reviewed the cards and gave suggestions on what to put in the deck. And it seems that Nightmare Moon seems to be a really, really fun card or fun deck to build. Unfortunately, the uh, playmats themselves are sold out. Yep. Um, this one I didn't really have the chance to read or check it out because um, $100 for me is equivalent to about 400 ringgit and that's a bit pricey for even for me so uh, it says here that $80 per bundle will be made to extra life benefiting the Seattle Children's Hospital uh, let's see bundle includes three playmats two sign side playmats and one doubles oh that's cool no wonder they sold out really quick yeah this hundred dollars worth uh, oh wow um let me do the calculation for a bit because if i do remember right let's assume that one playmat is about thirty dollars then you times three but one is a yeah it's about right and eighty dollars goes to charity so that's all good i wish i had the chance to buy this one yes but then my credit card bill will go up the roof and I won't have a show to do. <laughs> yes, uh, that's besides the point. Uh, but this this uh, playmats looks good. Like I, I wish I had the chance, but hey, um, they're not available. So yeah, kind of sucks. But at least the... Mm. Sorry, folks. Fireworks. And I'll try and not really say anything much until those pass. But this is a show somehow, so I need to entertain you guys. So I'm not gonna say anything of importance till it pass. I hope it pass. So anyway, um like I mentioned before, eighty dollars goes to charity while let me double check this one because if it's there, this is awesome. Yeah, thirty dollars goes to the Seattle Children's Hospital for the card game, and the cards themselves are three per box, including one uh, playmat. So fifty dollars, three cards plus playmat, awesome, awesome. Uh, it's still available until November fifth for you to go get them, and yeah, go get them, man. Like, if you really like ponies if you like magic the gathering this is a perfect combination for you if not it'll still be a really nice collector's item and you'll be supporting the seattle children's hospital so it's, it's a win-win and last on the news is uh no plans yet for season eight or nine uh, my little pony dvd from shark factory yes so with the season ended fans were wondering where are the dvds for a full set you know um, some people have collected all the dvds from season one to seven and now they want to complete the series the almost a decade worth of ponies and well uh, i'm just going to read what uh this says someone on the facebook uh Will you be releasing the last two seasons of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, in DVD sets? And Shark Kids, I think it's the parent company for Shark Factory? Hmm? Anyway, uh, they say, we don't currently have the release for them planned, but we'll let fans know if that changes. So, um, no big deal from the word and explanation here it seems that they don't have anything planned yet uh, I think the contract with Hasbro has not been signed for this yet but who knows 
uh, Shout Factory seems to be doing a good job with them. They did in the past, so why not continue on? You move out of the way. Um, so we'll wait and see. I, I got no idea when that might be, but having a complete DVD set of season one to nine, that would be awesome. Uh, like Silva always mentioned to me that he will he would always love a physical copy of a thing he loves. He always buys digital sorry, he always buys physical copies of games. And well, I tend to agree with him because having something physical is awesome. Like we could have digital cards, but why have digital if you can have paper? Much more awesomeness. And same goes for DVDs and so on. And yeah, um, I can't wait for this to happen because having a complete set would be awesome as long as it's official because over here in Malaysia, piracy seems to be around and even if you did buy original, quote-unquote original DVDs, they might not be original, if you know what I mean. And sometimes it's hard to describe what I'm saying because they, it could be that the company that's printing all of this had the license for Southeast Asia probably and sometimes it's good looking sometimes it's bad looking I don't know I'm not one to judge but anywho um, with that that's the news for this week so anywho um uh, let's go on to the next topic. What have I been doing with my week? And my week has been pretty interesting. I went to watch a movie. Yes, it's been a while since I watched a movie, right? So anyway, um, I watched Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, something like that? What was it? Uh, where is the receipt for that? Give me a second, folks. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Mistress of Evil, I see. So, anywho, I watched Maleficent Mistress of Evil with... Remember last week when I mentioned I went out with a friend? Quote-unquote a date? <laughs> I went to go watch a movie with her. She paid for it because, well, she wanted to treat me to something nice because I treat her to food. So, yay. Um, and <laughs> we watched uh, it in 4D. The experience was interesting. <laughs> um, how do how do I even explain this? We didn't had any three D glasses or anything, so that might be a bonus or a slight because you pay that much and not getting the full experience. Hmm. But overall, uh, it was fun. When we, there were panning shots, the seat move around, and when um somebody got shot in the back you felt like you got stabbed <laughs> it was a lot of fun um, but the whole experience was fun um, as for the movie itself uh, hmm, how, how do I put this in words it was interesting because I think they continue on from what happened in the previous Maleficent. And it's interesting. I, I don't really know how to explain. They really changed the character a lot, making her uh, sympathetic and relatable. And I, I, I can't really tell. But it was an interesting point of view. I kind of like it. And to be honest, they introduce a lot of things like new creatures and stuff and how Maleficent is not really evil, but she's... Hmm. Mm. The, the best way I can say is that it's how the humans perceived her as because she's a big meanie pants to them. While the other, um, what was it called, phase, think that she's a grumpy old witch. Still, they're not really friends, but acquaintance. But 
still uh, I'll have more of this when I talk about it at the end review but other than that uh, it was a fun movie I enjoyed watching it and um, funny enough this week when we review or when we do the MPS show review and discussion podcast spoilers for you guys out there uh, we'll be discussing something about Disney remakes yes um, share our opinions on them and whatnot. so do stick around for that and if you are a Patreon supporter you'll get a week's early access to that yes you get to hear us ramble about that one earlier Anyway, um, when this episode comes out, sorry, um, I, I'll just end it there. Uh, movie was fun. Go watch it if you are interested. If not, just wait for my year-end review. It, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, um, when this episode comes out, I'm just gonna assume that I'll be posting it on the 29th of October, and not to toot my own horn or anything, but. <laughs> Um, 29th of October is my birthday <laughs> So If you guys Would like Say happy birthday down below It'll really make my day uh, And uh, in, all, in all honesty um, My birthdays for the past few years Haven't been really awesome uh, Just because Mm, friends come and go and people don't really remember them or it's not a very how do I put this it's before Halloween and October is really long way for some people to well, kind of remember or care and I don't know I mean, I've gotten used to it but it's kind of sad uh, if you guys could make brighten up my day um just you know happy birthday greeting for me down below in the comments it'll really make my day I, i'll just say advance thank you if you do so and like like as always i will read every comment you do post and i'll reply to them all anyway oh uh, wow uh, let's wrap it up then <laughs> Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the <laughs> if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive dot com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio under the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. <laughs> Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Doterra. Um, spoilers, Seppi might be coming on this week's review. So, yay, that would be awesome. Where we cover pony episodes, comics, specials, and also other random things. We might even do a discussion. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> so anyway, uh, do subscribe. We're, we're going to have a lot of fun there. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, myself, Lag, Tristan and also Jeffrey thank you so much guys you are great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and it's been my pleasure <laughs> and it's been my pleasure to entertain you all I hope you enjoy the podcast and I hope you enjoy the sound of my voice thank you so much so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys later see ya <laughs>